Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be shifting away from nodes and into what's called form specs. But there's some framework that we need to set up before we can get into actually displaying those form specs. So that's today. Let's get started. Okay, so far we have written um, a, we've defined a node and and some supporting functions. So that's pretty much what my init.lua is right now. You can see that um, this up here can actually be gotten rid of. It keeps coming back because I make backups of my file. Uh, at any rate, so uh, we have some global defined here and then some supporting functions that that actually are called inside of our uh, uh, node registration, okay? So you'll see that, that that's just kind of the general structure. Um, you open up a function declaration, then you end one. And these lines help you identify what's what. And then it goes on to the next thing, the next function, and then, and then the registration of the node, which goes all the way down to line 63. And then here we have something else, register underscore craft. So those are the different like pieces. I have about four, five pieces to my script so far. And I... I explain or I draw your attention to that because it can get kind of confusing as to where you're supposed to start things and where you're supposed to end things. Um, and so just know that there are about five core chunks or pieces to my code and they are identified um, by the opening and the ending of the, the chunks, okay? And this is just a good example because it's small. You have uh, the beginning and the end, so... So we can go to the very end of the script, which should be fine. And I'm going to for I'm going to step away from nodes for now. And so you don't actually have to have uh, defined your node to have the functionality that we previously um, defined. It's okay if you don't have that. Your code does your init.lua has to be bug free. So you want to take care of all those red underlined squigglies so that you can then. Um, do this next portion. So that's about the extent of what you need to do to your existing code. Just make sure that, that it doesn't cause any problems in mind test. So because we're going to be adding on to a new chunk onto our init.lua. So today I'm going to be introducing you to um, something called chat commands. So in the textbook, uh, it has a chapter on chat and commands. So um, and it's just basically what we're talking about, and it goes over a very uh, fairly well the the majority of the uh, details of a chat command, and you can see an example here where it's uh, mind test register underscore ch uh, chat command gives it a name, and then it get the then there's again the same format. Uh, you have a table definition, which is the uh, the definition of the chat command. Inside of it, there are a few things. This, uh, the privs, are a list of privileges that the user must have in order to use the chat command. We won't be messing with that. Uh, and then lastly, the uh, it has something called defined called function f f uh, f u n c, and um, and this is important. So this is what we will be using to define what our chat command will actually do. And you can read on uh, through this chapter. It's got some really interesting information. Uh, but for the most part, we will not need this information unless you want to do something uh, unique. So we're going to go over to our init.lua, uh, make sure there's no problems with our file. And then we're going to start to write. Uh, in this case, mindtest.register. Uh, and you can see here, it gives me all the options. I'm just going to register uh, underscore chat command and it gives me the parameters. So first one is going to be the name. And so I'm going to call this form spec because we're going to be using this in order to work on form specs. Now, um, I never described what a form spec was, but basically it's a interface that pops up. So if you like click on something, or in this case, run a chat command, it would pull up a window which has like fields that you can enter and uh, use to do whatever. So chat command definition, this is gonna be inside of curly braces 
and and so there we go. We've we've set it up fairly well, or the, just the framework, and we're gonna say func uh, equals. I could just type function, and uh, go ahead and pass in name. Now, this is gonna this this is where you would define the different parameters that the function would accept and use. So um, for now, that's all that we need. And, and by default, the chat command uh, will grab the player's name and it will fill in that variable uh, with the player's name. And so that's just given by default. Any extra parameters uh, that you list will have to be entered through the command line. And if I don't know if you're familiar with the command, uh, the different commands that MindTest offers, but some of them require like additional details. Um, so you can explore that topic at your own leisure. But that's where you would enter them. So now inside of this function, we have the opportunity to do just whatever we want. The sky's the limit. Again, it's like our it's like and we couldn't we couldn't copy this text, the on construct um uh data. We couldn't just paste it in here because we are missing some critical information and that is position. Everything is based on position. So we couldn't do that here. I'm sure there are ways <clears throat> of identifying or getting a position. But so for now, what we're going to do is we are going to say, uh, just so we can test things, mine test dot uh, chat send all. And then we're, we're going to actually go ahead and print the name. So if we save this, head over to uh, mine test, then we can test it out. All right, so in this case, it is a chat command. The way that we uh, enter a chat command is using the forward slash, which is the, uh, I don't know where on your keyboard it will be exactly. It's kind of towards the bottom. So you're gonna do a forward slash. Oh, it shares the question mark key. So can't miss it. Forward slash, and I think, yeah. Uh, now we can just write uh, form spec. That is the name that we gave it. Remember that when we when we wrote out its name, we gave it form spec as its name. And then what we can do is just press enter, and there you have uh, printed on our screen. Uh, it says single player because I'm not on multiplayer mode or or um, like hosting a server, so it just says pl uh, single player. Okay, so the assignment for today is to use line 73 in my case uh, so where you're defining a, a variable that coincidentally is called player uh, and you're and it's going out and getting a player uh, by name so it's getting the player and then what I want you to do is actually display uh, some information about the player and um, uh, so something um, that once you get that information, so get player by name, uh, it is um, that that player variable holds a lot of information. And so uh, what I want you to do is display one thing that that player variable holds. Okay, so that's that's the assignment for today is figure out how to do that. And uh, and then, you of course, you'll call it with the chat command form spec. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.